about a month or so since I've done any kind of digging project. Maybe two months. But anyway, today's the day. We're going to widen up a driveway, add some stone, grade it all out, make it look nice for an upcoming wedding. Let's get it going. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add on to this side of the driveway. We're going to add about two feet. They want to add on to this side of the driveway here where they back out of the garage. We're going to come off that door up there by the house, come straight out and cut a lot of this grass out right here. We want to add to this parking area in front of the barn. We're going to add 25 feet out this way. So we'll get this all marked out with paint so we can cut it out. We'll haul the dirt off site and have some stone trucked in. We'll see what the ground conditions are. We've got to take at least four, if not six inches of the dirt out of there. And we'll fill back in with some base rock, top coat it with something else. Okay, here's another thing I like to do when you got a lot to cut out so that you can have a nice, clearly defined edge. I use an edger and run along there and cut the sod. That way when you come along with the skid loader or the backhoe or anything you're using to remove it, it'll peel right out in a straight line and you won't have a jagged edge. We're having a wedding here in about a month, so we want it to look nice. few extra minutes to do but that saves a lot of time in the future when you're trying to cut that out real nice and straight it'll come out of there so easily yeah like he knows anything anyway yeah you gotta back the old dumpity dump truck up in yeah here. we'll get the dump truck in here <laughs> Mega.
If you want crisp edges, that's the way to do it. Say we got a full load this time. How's it going, Steve? Really good. How's it going for you? Great. We're going to use this buggy for uh, grading some stone, huh? The mark of the beast. Yeah, I'll stay out of Does it only work on loose stone? It's fast. It won't work on hard stuff. Hard pack? Yeah. Well, we might have to scratch it up. There's some loose stone there. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're gonna Not like in the spring, when it's damp, it works okay when it's wet. Yeah, when it can. But when it gets hard like this, it just. It won't really cut. over the top. Okay. Well, we'll take another tractor to the job. All right, thanks a lot. Yes, come back again. All right, we will. To Rosner Enterprise. <laughs> a little bit too much stone right here so we're gonna go ahead and get some of this moved over to the other job and then get the rest of this put down
are you doing? You ready to rake some stones? Always. So I'll start bringing stone in here and trying to get it close to the edge. I would just try to make the stone flush with the grass, okay? So we're gonna make it just like flush and then I'll come in and wheel pack it. It'll go down a little bit. Let's see if we can get it graded up, okay? kind of how we want it. I'm going to wheel pack this in and try to lock in all those heavy rocks and then we'll uh, we're going to let it rain on it and then we'll top dress it with a finer stone. Hey folks, thanks for hanging in this long on the video. I'm going to do something for the first time and make this a part one of two for this project because there was just so much cool stuff going on here that I didn't want to cram it all into one video. And you'll want to check out part two of this project where I meet probably the best stone spreading dump truck driver that I've ever met. He does a great job of topping this driveway. He makes it so there is very little work required to get it finalized and graded out. And so we're going to put that in the next video. Again, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hopefully we'll see you next time around. Take care. Hey, don't forget to show me your nuts.